Hi, welcome to In the Cool of the Day and today's segment, Keeping It Real with Donna and David Burks. But unfortunately, David's not feeling well, so he's not here with us today. So it's just me. But we have a very special show for you, and we are going to discuss identity theft, how it's misunderstood, what to do when the worst happens, and I'm telling you, you do not want to miss any of this information. So make sure you have a paper and a pen handy today. Our special guest has over 14 years of experience in the area of identity theft, data breaches, and possible solutions. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Louise Yell to the show. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. We have so many uh, misconceptions about identity theft. And so let me just first say I'm not a cybersecurity expert. <laughs> okay. That's not who I am at all. All right. Um, I am here because I just understand over all these 14 years how little the public knows about identity theft. And it's very worrisome. I always kid people and say, you know, we know what we know about it because of TV commercials. Yep. Like yep. I know all about my digestive system, you know, <laughs> it's like the straight tube. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. It's a very shallow understanding. So that's my main mission these days. I'm kind of on a soapbox to try okay. to help people understand uh, because they're trying to make informed decisions about yep. a solution. Well, and you know, we hear so much about identity theft nowadays. Mm -hmm. and, and I even seen one of the infomercials of one of the big companies. Mm -hmm. And it sounds really good, you mm -hmm. know, when you have that protection that you can call one of these companies and get mm -hmm. uh, restoration or mm -hmm. a re uh, repair services, what do they call it, a reparation service mm -hmm. agent. Mm -hmm. But I think as we talk, you're going to clear up some of that muddiness between, you That's know, right. between that information. That's exactly right, because yes. you have to be very careful. It's like all marketing. You have to really look, look at the words. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of our words, restitution, re you know, reparation, remedies. You know, what you're looking for is restoration. And so we'll talk a little bit about what the in informed consumer might be asking Good. about that. So tell, tell us about the thefts. We hear about so many things on the news again. We hear about identity theft, credit fraud. I mean, there's m many types out there. Can you shed a little light about that? About yes, I think forms? if you ask the man on the street about identity theft, he's mostly going to quote to you uh, statistics or, th or thoughts or worries about credit cards and financial things, mm -hmm. bank accounts, that sort of thing. When in fact, that's less than one fifth of the problem. Mm. It's much, much more serious, which means you, that's another reason that you want to have a, some sort of comprehensive service to help you. Uh, it's my feeling that everyone in America will eventually have some, some experts to help them because it's so hard to navigate by yourself. Since that's only one fifth of the problem, let's talk about the other types of things okay. that can happen to you because okay. everybody knows that we're pretty informed about not giving away our social security number, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, we've been taught finally not to, it's uh, still on Medicare cards yeah. I have to say and that's a shame that's going to change but when somebody has your social security number they can do a lot of damage yep. I remember a story about a woman at Walmart she applied to work there and she had already been working there for two years because somebody had used her social uh. <laughs> right nice nice, nice to, to know, know. Yeah. yeah nice to know <laughs> so no we were smart enough not to give it away anymore we don't mm -hmm. give it just to anybody even the last four is, is better than the whole thing. So we're getting more careful about that. But um, Social Security number, everybody needs one to get a job. So let me ask you a quick question about that. If somebody's already been working at Walmart for two years, then they need to file taxes, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So how does that work that she wasn't, you know, getting a W-2 that showed that she was already working somewhere else. It was going oh. to a different address or? Yeah, she yeah. probably didn't file taxes. <laughs> so uh, then, it, then the okay. mischief starts. It comes back to you to file, you know, the, the back taxes. Uh, I actually know someone in, in, in Chesapeake who's paying $17,000 to the IRS because somebody in South Carolina took a job in her name and guess what? Didn't pay taxes. Oh my gosh. And so the, this is a particularly interesting crime because you have to prove the onus is on the victim to prove they're not the perpetrator. Mm. That's a very, very hard position because you're sort of guilty until innocent, which is not our way of thinking. Yep. Yep. Um, and so that, that really is a difficult problem. Um, I always talk about driver's license mm -hmm. fraud as well when I do these presentations or speak speeches in front of people. I always ask who here knows whether or not you have a driver's license in another state. And if, unless they've just moved here, they really don't know anything no. about that. And, and I'll just say, well, <clears throat> let's say I'm very clever and I figure out there are three states in which I've got a driver's license. Now what? How yeah. in the world is the average person supposed to fix that? Yeah. You wouldn't, first of all, discover it. 
and it's the great identifier. That's Once, what I was going to ask you. How would you even uh, you begin to look and find out? Okay. Uh, and, the, and this is not a, the, the kind of restoration we were talking about earlier. It, it, you can't fix that on evenings and weekends. This is not like a little hobby. Yeah. You know, if somebody's out there, if you've got a driver's license, their picture, you know, your, uh, your, your stuff on it, their mm -hmm. picture, they can do a lot of damage. Yeah. I because what's imagine. the first thing? Yeah. Show me your photo ID. Yep. Right. Exactly. So that, so driver's license in your name is something that's very insidious, very easy to do. Ask kids about in college about fake IDs, or ask. Yeah. I mean, you can make anything yeah. on the internet. Clearly, you yeah. can find instructions to do anything. So that's not that hard. Um, that brings me to RFID chips because the new driver's licenses have radio frequency identification chips in them. Yeah. Finally, it's like your uh, Visa cards, right? I that's mean, ATM cards. That, now that yes. We have now we've got the chip. The, the chip. Debit. I yeah, almost brought you a peanut butter cup, the miniature so, one, because yeah. it's the same size as a RFID chip. Oh, very and small. And really, if you I, I, it's very naive to think it, the smart tag can read your stuff at 300 feet at 60 miles an hour. Do you not think somebody could have a reader and read your stuff through your wow. purse? So aluminum wallets and things like that yeah. do help. One of the reasons I'm here today is because I'm, I'm so concerned that Americans are being put to sleep by things like that. They are shredding. Mm -hmm. They aren't giving their social out. They are trying very hard to buy aluminum wallets and blockers of every sort wrapping tinfoil around their credit cards. <laughs> um, and that's good. Mm -hmm. We want them to do that. But we've been giving this stuff away for 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's all out there. Yeah. So now the mischief has already happened. It's already started. And it's very easy. If you hackers, this, I used to think they were smart. They're just lazy. You know, I was actually in a presentation, and they talked about uh, the breaches, the data breaches, mm -hmm. and that 100% of the companies had some type of advanced security, virus protection, et cetera. Sure. But the hackers are still going around it. And, and there's different ways to do it to get into the system where you, it's, you're not known. You know, they're not there. Uh, they don't think they're there. And then it can take 90 days before it's either detected or um, to fix it. And so a lot of times you're figuring that people that do get in these data, they have 90 days to do whatever they oh, want to do. The recent big so. one for 143 million people happened in July. Yeah, exactly. And we didn't hear about it for a couple of months. Exactly. And that was a very interesting situation as well. Yep. So we could talk all afternoon about that. But the, so that's one of the things that's problematic mm -hmm. because what they usually do when there's a data breach is to buy you a year's worth of something. Yeah. And that's, again, where I think the American people are a little bit put to sleep um, because it sounds great. So my, here's something that would be informative to your, your clients and people, um, that if something happens, let's say they find out somebody's using your mm -hmm. social. In order to get any recompense from those people that bought you this, this solution, you have to prove that that social security problem came from that data breach. Now, you've already been hacked at several department stores, the OPM, yeah. you know, it's happened so much in the last 10 or 15 yeah. years that you can't, I don't think the average consumer could trace any of that. And you know, the interesting thing with the latest one was that if you write, read the fine print, because I was one of those where you go out and you check your social security number mm -hmm. or um, you check to see if you were affected, and of course I was, right? Yeah, of course. And so, <laughs> <laughs> after the population. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And then it says that if you, re if you uh, sign up for this, then you do not have any legal grounds to come back and sue them. That's correct. Right? Because you got that one year of monitoring. You just opted but, out of the class but, action lawsuit. Yeah, right? but it's like, but I guess what you're saying is kind of like that commercial, right, where the guy's doing the bank monitoring, right? I'm just here to inform you you're getting robbed yeah, type thing. Yeah, that's right? exactly right. That's, so. a, yeah, that's a very interesting commercial, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, because uh, we're going to continue to talk about restoration as being one of the things you want to look for when you check your credit once in a while or you check to see if you've been uh, hit um, it's like turning the smoke alarm on once in a while. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, no fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh good, <laughs> everything's fine, which is not true. Mm -hmm. And you, that's why it's so insidious. It's very hard for the average person to even know what's going on. Wow. Everybody offers monitoring. Obviously, they offer monitoring, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's good. And so you would want to find out what they're going to do after they find the problem. Yep. Alert you, that's for sure. Yep. Maybe hand you a guidebook, call the help desk. Who's on the help desk? I mean, you, these are new trainees, perhaps. Yeah. A lot of this you have to do yourself. Yeah. So one of my tips is that you want to find a service where they're going to do it for you. That's a huge piece. Uh, and there are services where assigned investigators are available to you so that you can go um, about your married life, yeah. and they'll pull you back to where you were when you started. That's, that's what you're looking for. Now, you, now, I'm sure our audience has seen a lot of these commercials out there for big companies that mm -hmm. are um, mm -hmm. talking about this type of protection. But between, I don't know, let's say out of 10, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I went out and I Googled uh, a few weeks ago about 
different companies that mm -hmm. were out there, mm -hmm. and, and I probably came up with about six main companies. Yep. So out of the six, how many would you say actually offer the restoration services that will get you back to where you were before the incident happened? That's the big differentiator. Most of them will not restore. They use the word restore. There are a few of them that say, um, we'll give it, uh, you're guaranteed up to $25,000 okay. reimbursement. Well, that's an insurance product where you have to have it underwritten and approved after you've spent the money and hope to get it approved. Okay. That's not restoration. Uh, that's, and so that's, that's kind of a fool. It sounds like, oh, if somebody steals $25,000, they're just going to give it to me. So the a consumer has to be really educated and really smart about d discerning what they're actually telling you, what yeah. they're saying to you. That's the piece that's difficult. Um, mm -hmm. So there are very few that offer that. Uh, okay. there's, there are a couple premier ones who use um, investigators, the uh, uh, old companies where they're ex-FBI people, CIA people that really know how to get into the government databases so that they can tell whether you've got a driver's license uh, somewhere else. See, okay. think about a commercial uh, restoration, as they call it, or identity theft solution. By the way, they always say prevent and protect. Mm -hmm. That's not possible. I hate to tell everybody here that the egg is out of the shell, but it is true. Um, it, we've been giving this away so long that mm -hmm. there's no way that you can now bring it back into place. So that's, that's a huge problem, actually. And, and prevent is not possible. Protection, they can't really protect you either. So I guess we may not have a chance to do it now. Um, we, we're going to go to break shortly. Sure. But the... Um, I see the million, so again, when I was watching this infomercial and they're talking about a million dollars or you go and Google it and it's mm -hmm, talking about a million mm -hmm. dollars of protection mm -hmm. and that you could call into, they were talking about, you know, some of the clients were struggling for years on their own trying oh, to yeah. resolve the oh, issues yeah. and then finally they called, you know, the company and said, and they're like, oh yeah, we'll take it from here and we got it, you know, you can rest and we'll do the work and, mm -hmm. you know, we'll contact you as we need you. So that million dollars that they talk about mm -hmm. of protection, what is that doing or which, where is that being applied? I mean, am I getting some of my money back or am I, is, or is that going to their labor in trying to research some of this? Well, if you listen to the wording in there, it usually says to help you fix it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, and hire attorneys if you should need them. Okay. You know, it, there's it's some caveats in there. Um, that particular company, I know which one you're talking about, has never had to pay out the million dollars. Okay. Um, it, it's it's just the idea is to find a service that will ask you for a, a power of attorney, a limited power of attorney, to do the work for you while you're here at work, while you're doing going about your business. Those companies exist, and they're connected to companies with attorneys as well. So that okay. that's built into the service so that you don't have to go outside of it or make other claims or all of that. That's, um, that's interesting. And we're going to talk more about that okay. when we get back. Great. So, Thank you. Um, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back after these announcements. So stay tuned because when we return, Louise is going to talk about more of the R word, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about that uh, restoration that's is right. what we want to look at. That's all right, right, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back to Keeping It Real with Donna and David Burke. Then just Donna today, but uh, today we're talking about identity theft and how it's misunderstood. Prior to the break, we were talking about the different types of theft and the fraud that can be committed using your identity. As promised in this half of the show, Louise is going to continue talking about the R word and what you can do to protect yourself and have peace of mind. So Louise, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> and so we were talking mm -hmm. about the different types of theft. But I think there was probably a couple you had mentioned during the break that we want to go ahead and talk about as well. Oh, I think yeah. so. I think so because when we mentioned only one-fifth of, of the problem, the mm -hmm. whole identity theft problem has to do with credit and financial things. Um, bank uh, uh, takeover, that sort of uh, thing. Um, the big one that people are not aware of is medical insurance fraud. Ah. I know. It's so, this one is so insidious because you don't have to have a photo ID to go in and use somebody's benefit. That's but you true. do have to have all their numbers. Pretty easy to make that card show up at the hospital. I always like to talk with people about this because the consequences are so serious. Now we're not just talking about money or using up your benefit, which is huge. I mean, they give a million yeah. dollar limit. It's, a, it's like a credit card, you know, huge. Mm -hmm. But what's bad about it is if they're building a me medical history that's not yours, 
they have a different blood type, or they have uh. they're diabetic, you're not, you have heart problems, they don't. Now you've got counterintuitive medicines and things that could interact and be, and it, you know, they taught me this in 2003 and I didn't wow. believe it. And they said, oh, people will die because, of, and it's happened. Really? It has happened, yeah. And it's just wow. so, uh, it's something we would never think of. So no. our audience ought to be very, very clear and get their m medical records once in a while. Take a look at it, make sure nobody's, I went to the doctor recently and he said, oh, you have high blood pressure. I said, no, I don't. He said, well, you, but you take these two medications. No, I don't. Wow. But my husband does. Same wow. last name. So even that, you, know, you sometimes you want to catch mistakes. Oh, that's so true. So that's when you want somebody monitoring and uh, no credit uh, or, or identity theft service is going to monitor your medical records. Okay. You need to be doing that for yourself. So is that just going to the doctor or is there a, a medical information board? Because I know, on, you know yes, when we is. deal with the insurance side that you can try to get your records. You can. And, and I tried that one time and it didn't work for oh, me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they reject it because I wasn't <laughs> applying for any insurance well, or anything right. at the that's time. That's right. No, that's right. But there's so. the medical information board, which is MIB, men in yeah. black, right? That was, that yeah. was our, what we used to think. But it is a central clearinghouse for all of that information. I always worry, what if that gets hacked? Yeah. Because, you know, we're all digital. You know, our yeah, whole life is exactly. electronic now. Exactly. Um, so that's a very serious one. I want, also wanted to address, um, there are a couple of other things, IRS, audits. I mean, there was a postman in D.C. a few years ago, and he found 87 returns t to the same address, uh, different people's names from the IRS. Wow. Same address in the same building. Wow. Now, they caught that person, and thank goodness, uh, an alert postman. And you know, I just want to cut in real quick, because I was reading about that IRS um, tax, because I had never thought about it until I was reading more about it online. And, you know, in understanding somebody has a job in your name, okay, and, and that could happen. But this is people that don't have a job in your name, oh, right. but they're just stealing your tax information oh, yeah. to file the refund before oh, yeah. you do. Well, so what does the IRS say? They say file early. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a great solution. <laughs> <laughs> do it before the thief can get you. They spent, I can't, exactly. I don't want to say millions or billions, but it was a lot last year that went to the wrong address because he who files first, Gets the refund, and the IRS only has to pay it one time. Wow, and then you have to fight it. Though. Same thing with Social Security be death benefits, wow. one time. You know, they know that several people are using the social at the same time. They know it, but it, they're not going to try to figure out who's beyond the right trying one. to fix. Well, it's just huge. Yeah. It's just enormous. So let's wow. talk about one more area that people need to be worried about okay. because we'll do anything for our children, right? <laughs> um, and children's identities are so so valuable. If your identity is worth a thousand dollars on the black market, theirs is worth ten thousand. Wow because pristine credit, see? They go to get a driver's license, they've already got a driver's license. Mm -hmm. They go to get a student loan, they've already got a student loan. I just read a book called Bankrupt at Birth. And um, somebody wow. made up a social security na number, kid was born, underwater on a house, $300,000. Wow. I mean, what, and what, who, what are they gonna think? Oh, the parents. Mm -hmm. The parents must have done this, mm -hmm. right? And the parents are now liable for the loan anyway. It's just a mess. So if somebody's really fooling with your life like that, Wow. You need serious, serious solutions. And that's why a little monitoring ser service for a year, mm -hmm. you know, you know, there was a huge health service provider a few years ago that lost 80 million people's mm -hmm. information. Yep. Now, they said, oh, we'll buy this for a year. Now, let's say they spent $1 on that service per victim. $80 million a month? I don't think so, Tim. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> you know, it's just, well, it's the nice gesture. Yeah. And the, but so I think people are just crossing their fingers, this is their plan, you know, like, I hope it doesn't, and we of course know it's going to happen to you, not me. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> so right. Between those me. two things, people are very unaware of how bad it can be, what, what to do to fix it, and they have to research it. They really have to look at these solutions and ask questions. Um, so you want to have your children monitored, you want their socials, and you want to ask, when you're finding a sol an identity theft solution, you want to ask those people, what is it you're going to monitor? Mm -hmm. Are you going to monitor my social media? What if you've got teenagers with telling the whole world everything about them on Facebook? Mm -hmm. so there are services out there that monitor yeah. that. That's, That's good. a whole different thing than just your social security wow. number. Um, they, they can find about drivers like, you wanna, who, is anybody looking at your passport? Wow. What if they're using your insurance policies? Oh, that's, See? that's true. See, yeah. you can put, there are services where you can control what they monitor. Okay. So if they're monitoring just credit cards, actually credit card companies are doing a pretty good they job. Are, they are in the banks themselves. They'll call you, yep. but think about how that works. They don't want to pay it twice. Yeah, exactly. And they don't, they don't want to pay it at all, as a matter of fact. So they're going to verify it and hope that it's bogus so they don't have to. Mm -hmm. But that, what about the credit cards you don't know you've got? 
That's true, because identity is somebody See, else. If somebody's <laughs> messing around, yep. then you've got a whole bunch of stuff out there. You mm -hmm. know, accounts in department stores everywhere, houses in other states, all of that can be going on. Wow. So monitoring, when you're selecting a, a service, find out what they're going to monitor, if you can control it. You know, now I've got a new wife, or I've got a new passport, or I've got a new policy, or anything that you wanted to put in that place so that it was monitored 24-7, credit history, not just credit card, okay. credit history. If somebody's taking a job, you need to know it. Mm -hmm. They change your address, that's a great one for thieves. Yeah. You know, we all true. go out to the first of the month, put the little red flag up and say to the bur burglars, <laughs> come and get it, it's all in here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's just silly what we do, because we're so trusting and been naive about this for so long. So what are they going to monitor? Can I control that? Can I edit it? Can, how okay. many, can I have all my 10 kids on there and they all get monitored? That's the sort of question that you want to ask. Because there's different prices when I've looked at that. Some charge oh, yeah. more than, oh, yeah. you know, to, to be able to do there that. There are some so. really, really excellent services that are like $20 a month and you can have 10 people on them. Yeah, see, that's awesome. So that's huge. That's just huge. And so knowing what they are going to monitor and then that big question, what are you going to do in, when something happens? So if you've already got a service, and you maybe you've got one from all these different places that have been hacked, you know, we're being monitored <laughs> six different ways. Uh, but you want to call them and say, what's going to happen if, if something happens? That's right. Make sure you're getting your money's worth. You're not paying something, throwing money away, right, and right, it's not going to help right. you when it does occur. And if they give it to you for yeah. free, what, ac what actually does that mean? Yeah. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't search out another solution. You know, True. have them both in place. That's okay. It's kind of like, everybody monitor. <laughs> it's like car insurance, right? I mean, yeah. we'll, that makes a difference too sometimes as far oh as what gosh. they cover. And, and we'll do that though for Wrong every, insurance uh, company, don't you know that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You've yeah. got the wrong company. <laughs> I remember that commercial. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's because we don't know the questions. We're often exactly. being told or taught about the subject by the person that's selling you a solution. Exactly. That's a very limited knowledge. Yeah. So that that's my soapbox. I'm really trying to be out here talking to churches and mothers groups and any kind of study group, just to broaden the knowledge about it. To just be thinking about this. What in the world is gonna happen if somebody's committing crimes in my name? Yeah. We've had instances where the perpetrator was three cells down saying that he's, <laughs> I'm the perpetrator, he's not, right? You've got to prove that. Reconstruct wow. your whole life, file affidavits. Half of us can't remember our addresses three times ago, <laughs> let alone reconstruct our whole life. You're talking about disrupting your life while you're trying to reconstruct it. You're still trying to maintain your daily life I know. and your finances. Expensive too. Exactly. You might have to hire detectives. You might have to go wow. and sit in court somewhere. You might have to file something. You might lose time off your job. We're talking expensive, not yeah. just in time. And most of us couldn't do it anyway because we don't. I mean. But my husband and I have five degrees between us and we can't <laughs> fix this, you know? I mm -hmm. mean, I went to school, we're problem solvers. Mm -hmm. It's just that in some instances you need experts. Yeah, because you don't know what you don't know. That's it. Right, so you gotta lean to the experts for that. That's and it. if you can do it in a, <clears throat> in a small amount, you know, in a monthly way, That's right. but you know you're gonna have protection should you need it, then That's it's right. worth it. You know, it's no different than our cell phones. We pay insurance, you know, because they've gotten so expensive. We pay insurance on the phones every month. Sure. You know, and just in case. So we drop need it in it. the toilet. Yeah, and this is a lot more important than a cell phone. <laughs> well, this is, if this it's is bad, life. it's really bad. This is life. Yeah. yeah, it can be really, really bad. I mean, they can ruin your career. If you have a security clearance oh, in yeah. this area, we're close to the government. The yes. government benefits are, by the way, the most juicy ones of all yeah. because they're so comprehensive and wonderful. We're so mm. close to Washington, D.C. But if, so that's, that's one thing about it. But it, what if you got a security clearance? You'll never work again. Wow. Even if you're c c cleared and free of that, even if you're found to yeah, be innocent. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there was a woman in Texas, and she was a premier uh, school teacher for 25 years, all the awards, you know, person of the, the world. I mean, she was just a really, <laughs> you know, exemplary. And she rolled into a stop sign. The guy ran her, she went through a stop sign. And when the policeman ran her, her t tags, he found that she was wanted with a bench warrant that she had never appeared for uh, wow. because she was wanted for prostitution in Nevada. Oh my gosh. Well, of course, they don't show up to court. <laughs> <laughs> so she had, and she was proven to be innocent, but she never worked again. Wow. Because now they, they would you let her work with your children? What if? Yeah. See, that's that, like, well, what if, what what if, if this if? is slick and they got by with it? Yeah. So it's pretty bad. Isn't that nice news? I hope that doesn't mean, <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to make everyone paranoid. Don't be depressed, everybody. There is hope. So. Yeah, well, there are yeah. great restoration services yeah. out there. And they can, um, 
And because of your experience, and you've been doing this for so long, um, well, I would tell you guys as an audience, one of the reasons that we wanted you to have on here, because uh, David and I work with financial services, mm -hmm. and this is tied to that. Oh, my gosh. You know, because, I mean, again, it's going to mess up your life if somebody does steal your identity. So, again, we're trying to expand the breadth of financial services. What does that really mean? Right, and so again, that's why we thought it was so important for you to be able to come here today and to share with the audience. Um, is there any last words that depart, parting thoughts you want to leave the audience with? Oh, just just be vigilant. The, the first onus on you is to take care of yourself. Yeah, you know, ATM uh, by law, uh, banks only have to restore money within two days. Uh, somebody drained my son's bank account for nine thousand dollars. Wow! And when he, w the bank never said anything. Finally, they saw two charges of two different states in the same day, and it must have been uh, internal because they drained his account. That is not identity theft. That's bank robbery. Oh my That's gosh. bank. That's account takeover. Oh my See, gosh. so and by law, after two days, they don't have to restore the money. Credit cards don't have to after sixty days. So oh. if somebody changed your address, you know. So oh you want to you want to add ask questions about okay. what exactly is going to are you going to do. Okay. Uh, to help us. Well, assistance. thank you so much for being so with us today, I enjoyed Louise. it. Thank you so much. So, guys, it's time to wrap up. Um, we hope you enjoyed today's show, and we encourage you to take action on the information learned here today. Remember, it may not be a question of if, but when you become the next victim. Research, prepare, um, and have a plan, okay? So you want to protect your family. Um, you need to do it now, and you need to plan for protecting them in the future as well. Please feel free to contact Louise, David, or myself. Um, and you can look at any of the numbers shown on the screen, and you can contact Louise there. You can look at our ICOD Facebook. But, you know, please feel free and reach out to us if, you're, if you find yourself interested in this topic and you really do want to protect yourself, okay? Well, you have a blessed week, and we will see you next time. Until then, remember to keep it real. <laughs>